Yerd, what's up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another video of Does It Suck? Today we're jumping in and gonna be talking about the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 multiplayer beta and of course be talking about my thoughts and impressions on the game as well as the brand new Omni movement system. That's what everyone is talking about. That's what everybody wants to know. Does it feel good? Does it suck? Let's go into it. Right off the back, if you've been a fan of the Black Ops series, you're going to feel right at home. The gameplay is tight. The maps are well designed and feel very Black ops -ish, if that makes any sense. But it does feel like a Treyarch Black Ops game. The pacing on these maps, at least in the ones in the beta, are very tight and tense and close. And feel right at home when we think about Call of Duty maps, when we think about Treyarch, when you think about Black Ops. These are fit well into that universe while we're here talking about the maps i do think the maps do lend itself a ton with the brand new movement and i think that's the point they wanted to get across within the beta they want us to jump off the ledge into a pool spinning 360s and clicking heads with the brand new movement and this these maps in the beta allow you to do so and i think they chose them particularly to showcase as well so we can get our hands on the brand new movement and get used to doing stuff like this they're like enabling us to get the clips and stuff like that which i think is pretty cool so what exactly is ami movement in simple terms is a movement mechanic that lets you move and traverse through the environments in ways we kind of never seen in a call of duty game you could run, dive, even slide in every direction. Yes, so that means you could run straight left, run straight right, run straight back, even dive straight back, dive straight right, dive straight left, slide in any direction, slide right, slide left, slide backwards. And it's not just stuck to those four directions. You can do it in any way that you want is fully 360 degrees as far as the movement is concerned and when you play the game and you're running around and you just start running backwards or running to the left or running to the right without actually recentering yourself you do kind of feel it and it is weird at first uh, at first i was like wait what the hell like why why am i moving like this but you notice how natural it does feel when you are at a corner aiming down sight and then your character peeks around a little bit you do notice the movement of the hands when you throw a grenade and how your the other hand is kind of helping with the throw when you are holding the grenade for longer when you dive and you're next to a wall and your legs are touching the wall and you kind of push yourself a little bit without actually clipping through the wall it's it, it looks amazing Again, it feels amazing. It just feels it, it feels real. It's a realistic feeling that you kind of can't replicate inside of Modern Warfare 3. And that's the big takeaway. Going back and forth between the Black Ops 6 beta and Warzone has been jarring to the point that I'm actually trying to maneuver and jump backwards in Warzone and I can't do it. And it's just itching me because I kind of want to be able and feel free, quote unquote like I do with the Omni movement system. The Omni movement system gives you multiple ways to play around with the arsenal and with your character, with the environment. And I think that was the goal of Treyarch here. And again, it just nails it in a way that you have to play it, get your hands on a stick, and add these moves to your arsenal. Now, at first, it might seem overwhelming, but once you get the hand of the army movement, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. And the best part is, is that it doesn't break the game or make it feel too chaotic. Treyarch has done a good job of balancing the new chaotic with core gameplay. Meaning that, again, if you jump around the corner and there is a sniper there, that sniper is nice enough to shoot and hit you. You're going to get hit. <laughs> you're gonna die you know what i'm saying like if you do all of this jumping and diving and you know this running backwards and sliding and stuff like that like if you're still not good with aiming you're it's not gonna make you better and again if you are good with aiming and if you are good with shooting 
you're going to be fine without using the Omni movement system, which, again, I think is pretty cool because it, it, it presents itself as a skill gap, but doesn't dominate as a skill gap at the same time. I don't know. It, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, while the Omni movement is fun, it does create a noticeable skill gap. Yes. New players might find it hard to keep up with veterans who have mastered the system, but again, it is not a deal breaker. It's something to be aware of if you are a more casual player, but even with being a casual, I think a lot of people are going to be just fine and not have any issue at all with the people that are going to be jumping and diving around. Like, yes, at first it might feel chaotic. Once you get used to how certain players may dive around certain corners, you might be like, okay, I get it. I, I shouldn't just be, you know, centered at this door right here because they're going to dive through it. Or maybe I should lay down on the ground here so I can have a better angle for whatever is coming my way through this door. Talking about the doors and stuff, the map designs is well suited for Ami movement as well as for Call of Duty in general. It feels very Cold War-esque, but very new gen Cold War-esque. This does feel like a new, I, I say Cold War, but I meant, I meant to say Black Ops. It does feel very Black Ops-esque, but in a new way, and it does feel great. It does look great as well. The maps, again, are well suited for army movement. There's a few spots where some stuff feels clunky and too close quarters. And you're like, why did they put the capture point here in some areas? And it feels kind of weird decision-wise. That can feel frustrating and restrictive. Hopefully, this stuff will get ironed out. Maybe the pros will go in and complain about something and say, hey, A shouldn't be at this one weird corner. Like, it should be more in a more open space, but maybe that's the point. And I'm not a CDL pro, so <laughs> I'm going to just leave that there. But it's one of those weird decision feelings that's like, hey, why is that a, a thing? If you're a fan of the fast-paced, high-skill gameplay, you're going to love Ami, what Ami movement brings to the table. It's not without its challenges, but... It's part of what it makes it in so engaging. If you're a fan of fast-paced, high-skill gameplay, you're going to love what Ami Movement brings to the table. It's not without its challenges, but that's the part that makes it so engaging. I know I already pre-ordered, so of course I'm down. I played it during the pre-order weekend. I was not sent a copy by Activision. Activision, emails are open. There's still a chance. I still need the Vault Edition. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> thank you everyone for watching. Let me know in the comment section below. What's your thoughts on the Omni movement? If you had a chance to play this weekend, it is going to be free to play for everyone next weekend. So everyone can just jump in. And if you are watching after that point, also let me know your thoughts of the Omni movement system. And of course, everything here on black ops 6 let's talk about it in the comments like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking call of duty fortnite pokemon whatever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one okay Let's stick in this corner oh shit i'm dead dead right uh, yep <laughs> <laughs> that shit dropped right in my fucking face while I was laying down. But we got B. Securing zone A. Losing Bravo. How, son? We're losing Charlie. Wow, okay, that's how there's a fucking zone five stack on there. I'm like, how? Losing all zones. We're ahead, but stay alert. Oh shit! Ah, oh, fuck me. Where's my grenade, bro? That shit didn't even blow up. Okay, 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 okay. Securing Charlie. Scout post going out. Okay. 
I don't know how I didn't see him in that corner at first. Oh, fuck. They spawned him right there, bro. What? They literally spawned him behind the fucking peel. The fucking. No, oh, bro. Really? We winning, though. We winning. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, shit. I jumped right to a grenade. Victory. Okay, cool. W. W. That's a win. I could definitely use that for my, uh, this thing. Phase Chris, right. Oh, there really was a phase member in my lobby. Oh my god, okay. Oh, shit, alright. Maybe there was a CDL fucking player in my lobby. You got it, Chris. You got it. Daddy? Gamer, Fred, the trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!